Are you telling me, in all honesty, that rape is really okay? If she's drinking a lot, then surely why not? Her body is there for the take. I'll go berserk when you tell me her shirt was too tight and her legs were too long. She was out late at night, which makes it all right that rape is okay and not wrong. There are women who think if you party and drink, it's a surefire way to get raped. But it doesn't make sense to judge the offence by the alcohol unit intake. And what of consent? If she's boozed up and bent out of shape as she sways in the loose, unsteady on feet, she slurs as she speaks, is she legally able to choose? But it wasn't the brandy that raped her. It wasn't the spliff that she smoked. It wasn't the lager, the whiskey, the wine. And it wasn't the vodka and coke. She never said no, so how could he know? She never punched back with her fist. Did she kick? Did she bite? Did she put up a fight? Did she shout? Did she holler and spit? Well, there's one thing I know about that girl, she froze and her body went into retreat. Though she screamed in her head, nothing was said, overcome in her mind by defeat. He saw her tears, he saw the fear, he saw her face turn away. The control in his hand made him feel like a man, but a true man refuses to rape. So, was it the brandy that raped her? Was it the spliff that she smoked? Was it the lager, the whiskey, the wine, or was it that really nice bloke?